CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Why did this IOL get Iris captured? Look carefully at this picture because the answer is visible. Why did this happen? This patient had a sulcus lens placed, and it was placed appropriately in the sulcus, but eventually this lens moved this way. What do you think? Think about it. I don't want to give away the answer just yet. So now our guest surgeon here is going to do a great job and fix this issue. But how are you going to fix it? Do you need to do a Yamane? Are you going to suture it in place? Well, there must be some sort of capsule support. You want to put some iris hooks in to see that? What do you want to do here? Have you figured it out yet? It's pretty easy once you see it. I won't tell you just yet. You keep looking at that picture here. So our guest surgeon needs to make sure this lens doesn't fall back into the vitreous, right? I agree with you there. Let's see, get another paracentesis in. Always helpful to have a, a paracentesis or two to help uh, with extra instruments in the eye. So there's the paracentesis, nicely made. And now, let's see, maybe pulling that lens around. Okay, get that lens. Maybe getting the lens up. Don't let it fall in the vitreous cavity. I like that's a good idea. All right, one haptic now above the iris. Maybe get the other haptic up. Maybe you want to do an eyewell exchange. You want to do an iris claw lens, although not in America because we don't have that lens. Hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, the teaching website? If you want to look up stuff like, mm, how do I calculate the power for a sulcus lens, don't email me. The answer is already at cataractcoach.com. It's a fantastic search engine here. Check it out. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program in here. Have you figured out why? Look at that lens. What's wrong with it? I bet you figured it out now, didn't you? Look, it's upside down. What direction are the haptics? Remember, when the haptics look like the letter S, S is stupid. I don't want to be stupid. That means the lens is upside down. Now, why is that important? These three-piece lens designs usually have an angulation at the haptic optic junction, meaning the lens plus haptics is not perfectly flat or planar. No, there's a 10 or 15, sometimes 5-degree angulation between where the haptics insert into the IOL. And if you put the lens in the correct way, the anti-S, well, then the lens will be slightly vaulted backwards. Now, here, you can flip the lens in the eye, but be careful. Don't scrape the corneal endothelium. So now the lens is being flipped, and hopefully this is a big eye with a big, deep AC, and there's plenty of room. Now the lens is in the correct orientation. If you put the lens in upside down, well, then the, uh, the optic is vaulted forwards, and it wants to come through the pupil. If you put the lens in the correct orientation like this, then the optic is posteriorly vaulted because the angulation at the haptic optic junction. And then the lens will allow the optic to sit a little posterior, a little bit farther away from the iris. So you're not going to have that same issue here. So that's the answer to the quiz. And now I go back and look at that title slide, and you know what? You can tell that it was upside down just from that title picture here. So now the surgeon's going to be very carefully implanting that first haptic here into the sulcus. Nicely done and just gently under the iris. And you may want to also use that instrument there to lift up the iris after you put the haptic just to ensure it's in a good orientation and good position. So there it is. Get that gently placed in the sulcus. Beautifully done. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then once that's done, there we go, just checking on it. I like to get that lens rotated a little bit, get this trailing haptic in as well. Get that in the sulcus. And so here, using that same hook, to deliver this trailing haptic. Again, if you push at the haptic optic junction, you can actually dial the lens while you slightly push down. Good. And that'll allow you to get it in there maybe a little bit easier. And then again, I would recommend using that second instrument there, that hook, to lift up the iris just to double check everything and ensure that you have great capsule support there, sulcus support for that lens. And another upside here too, if there is some sort of rex is still available, to be able to do an optic capture because that also will prevent the IOL optic from coming forwards and getting captured by the iris again. So beautiful case here. I trust that you got the quiz right because yeah, you're a cataract coach fan. We've been through this before. We know that S is stupid when it comes to IOL orientation. Remember, cataractcoach.com, full PDF book there about learning cataract surgery, full curriculum series. Check out the amazing podcast. You will learn so much, I promise you.